In this video, I wanted to share with you one of the new things in version two of Affinity Designer, and that is warping text. So this is something you couldn't do in the previous version, but in this version you can. I'll show you all the different ways that you can do it and how you can use some of these techniques for t-shirt designs. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm very excited to share with you one of the new things that I found in Affinity Designer 2. I've been using it for a while. I haven't tried everything, but the one that thing that I'm very excited about is the warp text. So previously on version one, you wouldn't be able to warp text. You would only be able to put it on a path. But now in version two, there's so many different ways that you can warp text. I'm gonna show you all of the different ways how to do it in version two. If you don't have version two, go to uh, Affinity Designer Serif. I think it's worth it to get the upgrade. Um, there's several other things that I can do too, but I think just this right here, just warping the text is a, is a great addition to it. So let's get into Affinity Designer version two and I'll show you exactly how to do this. So here we are on Affinity Designer two. You can see it right here. The first thing we're gonna do is start a new project. Come in here, file, new, uh, it's kind of different than what version one was, but I did manage to set up a preset here. You can see mine's 4,800 by 5,400. You can start one as well by just typing it in here, page width and height. And I'm just gonna double click on this and you can see I started a new artboard. So first things first, let's type something. I'm gonna just, you're gonna see all the tools here are very similar to version one. They just have like a new style on it. So I'm just gonna do the type tool right here and type, uh, let's do a word here. Let's do Las Vegas. Maybe we wanna do a Las Vegas t-shirt. You can't see it, so I'm gonna make it bigger. Same thing like we did before, just grab the thing. I'm gonna do it all caps. Cool, uh, make sure that it fits in our window here. And you can use any font yet you want. I'm gonna go and use a slab serif font because I think that looks really great when we're gonna do some of this warping stuff. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna type in super, uh, you may have this, uh, if you don't have it, you can go to the internet and download it, superstar M54. You can see a very nice font here. Okay, so now that we go here, there's two ways to get to the warp tool for this text. So you can come in here and go to layer, and then warp group, and you can see all the different things here. But you can see that right here, this mesh one, there's a shortcut, and that is option, command, and G. So if we wanna do that and not go to the layer, hold down option, command, G, boom, and it'll pull it up. The first thing that it's gonna pull up is the mesh, but you can see you can do any one of these right here at the top. So we're gonna do mesh first, since that's the first one that pulls up, but I'm gonna show you how each one of these work. Uh, mesh is basically everything. So if you wanna move everything around, you can. And you can see, I can move anything, move these handles, whatever I want. Now this may be uh, too much for what you wanna do, but it's very powerful because, let me go back, you may have noticed uh, some style that's very popular right now and that is the vintage style with the wavy thing that that you can do here so let's pull up a vintage font so let me um, copy this I'm gonna hold down option and type on it and do one let's do let's do another font so you can see this vintage thing um, I'm gonna do coaster this vintage font here. I'm holding down option and dragging so I can copy this. I'm gonna do lucky, um, teacher, whatever. You can do, you can do anything. Okay, so let's do, let's do that on here. So let's say we want one like this and we want the warp feature. Remember, option, command, G. Okay, so remember, if you want a warp feature, you can do that here. Make that bigger, make the top the same. Now we can do the warp feature on this one. Option, Command, G again, right? So now we can fill it in here. Look at that. And we can make this one 
and you can play, I'm doing it really quick, but you can play around with all these, all these things here, right? And same thing with this one. Option, Command, G. Look, look how you can do that. Pull this up, make it warp. Now it takes it a little while, but you can do any one that you want. Again, play around with it. This isn't the greatest example of one, but you can see it is possible in here to do it if you just take some time. All right, so that's warp. One of the other things to note is that it's putting it in a warp group. So if you wanna ungroup it from this, you definitely can. You can also delete the groups here. So now it doesn't have that warp group on it. So you can, you can start new. All right, so let's do this again. Superstar here. I'm gonna go the layers way this time. Layer, warp group, mesh. All right, so we saw the mesh one where we can do everything. The next one is quad. So basically you're just moving uh, each quadrant is quad. So moving that by itself. This can give it some nice perspective or you can like make it go out just one at a time. Okay, the next thing here is perspective where when you're moving one, it actually does do the perspective down and see it's kind of pinching it. So it's a little bit different than quad where it's kind of giving it its own perspective already. So if you wanna move that there and that there, it kind of automatically gives the, the perspective. Uh, this one arc, this is arc vertical, and you can see it's arcing this way, and you can control this arc with this right here, so you can go it both ways. Boom, boom. This is kind of cool if you wanna do like an arc this way, and then another one with the arc this way, I think that could good, give it some really, a really cool uh, contrast, right? Um, let's go back. So next thing is arc horizontal. This is the one where it's kind of on a path, but if you wanna make it the arch, you can just pull these handles here and straighten this out. And now you have the arch where it's everything straight. You may wanna use some um, guides to make sure that this is straight, but I'm gonna eyeball it here. Same thing here, pull this down, pull this up. Whoops, so this needs to be just like that. And you can see just like that, I'm using arch or arc to do the arch. So it's straight up like that. And this is something you could not do in version one. Uh, none of this, right? All right, so now that I've changed this, I, I won't be able to go back in there. So I'm gonna undo a command Z and there we go, back to the warp. So uh, let's see, I can do, oh, bend. So it's bending it in the vertical again, and you can move this here. This one's kind of neat, but it's very hard to read because as you get further and further, it just gets really wonky there. So uh, use that with caution. There's been horizontal the other way. Again, this one's very hard to read, but you know, kind of gives it some perspective there. That's kind of nice. Um, fish eye. Again, very hard to read when you like bow it out, but it's the middle part. It's just moving the middle. So it's kind of the mesh thing, but it's just moving that middle to give it that fish eye, right? Uh, and lastly, twist. This one's kind of gets really hard to read, but you can see if you just do a little bit, kind of cool. So I love all of these um, different ways to warp it. Have fun with this. Again, use different fonts. Like this is a great one for like, athletics uh, and sports and things. And the other one, that other one, let me pull, pull that in. That other font that I had, Coaster or something like it. Let me, let me do it here for you. Whoops. So a font like this or something like, uh, some kind of vintage font would be really good for the wavy text that I showed earlier. So you can go in there and play around with it. Again, Option, Command, G, quick way to do it. And you can move and make things, you know, flow like this. So if you want a wavy font, play around with these. So lots of different ways to, to warp your text. I just wanted to show you, 
you can do it and um, you can come back in here and change the text too if you want to um, so if I wanted to come in here and say well maybe not um, maybe not lucky maybe it's one and it will keep it a little bit so you can kind of play around with it pull it around so you can always delete it and start all over with the warp if you don't like it but I would keep the text by itself some people um, change it to convert to curves and you can but the only problem with convert to curves is you won't be able to edit the text so uh, be cautious of that have fun with it play around with it uh, lots you can do so those are all the warp features that you can do here um, come on here and play around with it warp group and you can see all of them right there or just remember to do the command option G so I just wanted to make sure you knew where to go um, to get Affinity Designer 2. You can see right here, affinity.serif.com. And they have a bunch of apps actually. So if you go here and hit buy now, you can see um, you, if you have a Mac, you can get it for Mac. If you have Windows, you can get it for Windows. If you have an iPad and rather do it on that, uh, it's a different version. So it's not gonna be exactly how I, how I showed it, but you can do it that. It's very powerful and you can get all, all three here. Um, universal license for the different apps that they have so they have a affinity designer um, which is like illustrator affinity photo which is like Photoshop affinity Pu publisher which is like InDesign um, if you're familiar with the Adobe products and you can get all three again uh, Mac OS and iPad version so there's a one-time price and the thing is these are this is a one-time price it's not a subscription base so if you just want to buy it once um, you can get it $69 and that's it. You don't have to pay for any subscriptions and they go on sale. So at the beginning of the year, I think it was half this price uh, and they typically go on sale once a year. So you have to, if you want to get it on sale, you have to wait and, and find that. So here it is. Um, very cool. And you can read up and see the tech specs and all the different things it does. Uh, they do a good job here and they just released this last year. So late last year. So it's, it's pretty new and uh, I'm still learning some things about it, but I think it's a good thing, especially with that, that warp feature that I just showed. So that's the warp feature in version two. Let me know how you like it. Play around with it. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you've played with it before, if there's any other warp things that you wanna learn how to do. If you're still using version one, of course I have this video right here where I go through the whole tutorial of what uh, Affinity Designer version one does. It's very similar to version two, so you can use some of this these same techniques in version two. If you need a tutorial for version two, um, you can watch that as well. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.